Okay, so let's talk about this uh, example 4.5, right? So let's say we have this table, all right? So the questions ask us to use the 2017, all right, as the base year. So we know that we have to find the aggregate. So aggregate, it should have the summation here, all right? And then it talks about the price index. So now we are going to talk about P0. So 2017 is actually P0 because it is price, all right? So for 2019, this is the current period. So this should be PT, all right? So the formula is given by PTQ, right? Summation of PTQ divided by summation of P0Q. Note that this is actually weighted, all right? The weighted price index. Why I said so? Because it has quantity that need to be multiplied with the price, okay? So... Well, we know that, all right? So this is weighted, all right? Even even in the questions, it's stated that it is weighted. So weighted meaning that you have to multiply the price together with the quantity, all right? So, okay, what need, what you need to do is that, all right? So this is the Q, all right? And this is the P, all right? And P0, all right? And this one is PT, okay? So what you need to do is to multiply P0 with Q and also PT with Q. So you will have to multiply this, all right? So uh, 3 point, all right? 3 point 10, all right? Let's let's say I, I talk about the PT first, okay? Uh, 2, 290 cent together with 200. So you'll get, all right? 500 uh, sorry uh, 580 okay 580 okay and then you will have to multiply the 10 we get 55 cents together with the 500 so you'll get 5 Five two seven five, and another one that for C, which is the PT, which is here, multiply with the quantity, so you will get two six two five. So you fill in here two six two five. So this is PT, which is P for two thousand nineteen. You multiply with the quantity, all right? So next one you have to multiply the P not with the Q. So meaning that the P not with the Q, which is you have to multiply this, all right? So you will get the first row is six hundred and twenty, and then the second one you have to multiply this two, right? So you will get five one two five, and the last one is you have to multiply this one, so that you will get 2575. Uh, what you need to do is because we need to find the P submission of the PTQ and also the submission of P not Q. The submission means that you have to add this up so you will get 8480. Alright? And also to for, for this one you'll have to add this up because we need to find the submissions so you will get 8320. So we already have this value and also this value we can insert into the formula. So the formula is given by this. So PT the submission of PTQ is of course this one. So we'll fill in with 84 Eight zero divided by summation of P not Q, which is given by this value. So we'll get eight three two zero and multiply by hundred. So calculating this using your calculator, so you'll get one hundred and one point nine two. So means that the price already increased by one point nine two percent. So let's now look at example 4.6. So we have this uh, set of data. All right. So we look at the question. So they ask us to use the 2015 as the base year. Yeah? So we know that anything that we're going to find later is either quantity or price. So it should be Q0 or is either P0. All right. So calculate the last, last year's price index. So all right. So firstly, we read the questions. All right. So calculate the the question asks us to find the last year's price index. So because it is price index, it should be P0 over uh, PT over P0. And because it is actually last year, so the word last year represents this. Q not here. It's not QT, all right? If it is Porsche, so it's QT. But now it's less pure, so it should be Q not, all right? So we'll have to find for 2017 and also 2019. So in this in this formula, all right? So in this formula, we know that we have to find a PT Q not and also P not Q not. So in this case, so we know that P not Q not is for 2015, which is fits. So we have the table. So we have to do the find the P not Q not, which is P not Q not is 2015, all right? So P0, Q0, okay? This one is for 2015. It is fixed. It's not changed, right? But if it is PT, Q0, right? For PT, Q0, the time for T is now is can be 2017. And also another one we have to find for PT, Q0 for 2019, all right? So what we need to do is to multiply, all right? For the first one, P0, Q0. So P0, Q0 should be this, all right? So P0, Q0 should be the price for 2015 with, the, with this 150. So you will get 375, okay? Multiply 12 points of 12.5. This one is P0, all right? And this one is Q0. It is fixed. All right, multiply with 750, so you will get 9375. Another one, you have to multiply 1.5 together with 590, so you'll get 885. You add this up together, so you'll get 10,635. So this is actually, all right, so this is actually the summation of P0, Q0. Summation of P0, Q0. All right, we are done with this one. So the next one we need to find is actually the PT, Q0. All right, so now PT, T is now for 2017. So look at the price for 2017. So multiply with the Q0. Q0 is a quantity in 2015. So multiply together with this one, all right, this one. So you'll get all right so 750 all right for the first one the next one it's this one with this one so you will get 9825 and next this one together with this one the q naught so you'll get 1180 all right so you add this up together so you get 11755 this one is for p summation of pt q naught for 2017 all right so now you can calculate all right you can already calculate the i for 2017 should be this value all right 11 
755 should be divided with this uh, sorry 10,000 all right 635 okay the one is summation of PTQ naught over summation of P naught Q naught multiplied by 100 so you will get 110.53 all right so as for 2019 we'll have to find the PTQ naught for 2019 so PTQ naught because T is now 2019 so look at the price for 2019 so this is PT now all right so our PT is now but we have to multiply with Q naught meaning that we'll have to multiply these two all right so multiply this all right so you will get all right PTQ naught for the first one 780 the next one is 11250 and the last one should be 944 so you add this up so you will get 12,974 all right this is actually summation of PTQ naught but this one is for 2019 all right so you can calculate the I for 2019 so note that the, sum the formula is given by this summation of PTQ naught which is this one all right so you get 12,974 you should divide with the summation of P naught Q naught so summation of P naught Q naught in this formula in this from this table we have calculated just now because it is fits there so 10,635 you should multiply with 100 all right so calculating this so you should get 121.99 percent sorry okay so what, what can you say so this one is talking about the price index so the price for 2017 is already increased by 10 10.53 percent all right but for the price for 2019 okay as as compared to 2015 has already increased by 21.99 percent based on the values of the price index all right the next one we want to calculate is the okay the questions is asking you about the less peers quantity index so we are talking about the quantity so qt over q naught but this less peers so it should be p naught and also p naught here right if it is posh it should be pt and also pt Alright, so in this case, what we need, what needs to be done is actually identify what is the your time now. It is this one. We uh, we have to find this uh, Q T. Alright, for 2017. Right, so what needs to be done is actually P not Q not P not. Alright, Q not P not, which is for 2015, of course. And in fact, we have calculated uh, from this. Alright, this is actually the same Q not P not. Uh, sorry, not from there. Uh, from this one. Alright, P not Q not and Q not P not the same thing because we just multiply. So you get three seven five. Okay, three seven five, nine three seven five, and also eight hundred and eighty five. So you you add this up together you will get 10635 all right so that one is summation of q not p not all right q not p not so for the next one we'll have to calculate the qt p not so not that our qt is the quantity in 2017 because we are talking about 2017 so look at the quantity in 2017 of course this one this is qt multiply with p not so p not our p not now is actually the price in 2015 so the price is actually here so this is qt so this is qt this is p not so multiply this together right so 2.5 multiplied by 160, you will get 400, okay, 400, this one is QTP now, okay, so the next one, you have to multiply 12.5 together with 800, so you get 10,000, and the last one you get 1.5 multiplied by 670, so you'll get 1,005, so you add this up together, you'll get 11,000, 11,405, all right, this one is actually summation of QTP now, all right, so using this formula, all right, so I is given by this value, 11405 divide with this value 10635 and then you multiply by 100 so you will get 107.24 what can you say the quantity for 2017 has already increased by 7.24 percent based on 2015 all right so let's look at question C, which asks us to find, all right, the porch, all right, so the porch price index. So we are talking about price index, so it should be PT over P, not here. And it is porch, so it should be multiplied by QT, not Q, not, all right, so QT here. So for 2017, also 2019. So in this formula, from the formula, we need to find the P, not QT, and so PT, QT. But it is different for 2017 and 2019, meaning that you'll have to find for 2017 and also for 2019. So for both of these, you'll have to find differently, which is P, not QT, all right, and also PT QT all right so the same goes for this one P not QT all right and also PT QT all right so now what we need to find is actually P not QT all right P not P not is the price for 2015 this one is fixed P not and all right so we'll have to multiply all right P not QT so in this case our QT quantity in 2017 is this one this one is QT now all right and of course this one is the PT right so look at the P not QT first so this one multiplied by this one so you'll get P not QT for the first one is 400 this one multiplied by this one you'll get 10,000 and 1.5 multiplied by 670 you get 1005 all right as for pt and qt you'll have to multiply by 5 with 160 so you'll get 800 13.10 10, 13 and 800 so you'll get 10,004 sorry mm -hmm. 10,000 and
we get 10,480 and the next one is actually the last one to multiply by 670 so you will get 1340 you can add this up together so the first one will get 11405 this one should get 12620 so you can directly calculate the i for 2017 right so which is given by summation of ptqt which is this one 12620 divide by summation of P0QT which is 11405 and then you'll have to multiply by 100. So you will get 110.65 alright. So the next one is for 2019 alright. So we need to find the P0QT and also PTQT. So P0QT. So P0 here is used but QT is not for that 2017. It's now for 2019 so this one is already not used alright. So note that this one is for PT. Okay. So what we need to find again Okay, I'll, I'll put it this way, all right? So, what we need to find is actually to multiply the P0 with QT. So, P0 with the QT, all right? So, P0 with QT, uh, sorry. P0 together with QT, all right? So, that one. So, you will get something about 4875. And the next one for the second one, 12.5 together with 950. So, you will get 11875. And the last one is, of course, the 1.5, all right? 1.5 together with 750 so you'll get 1 1 2 5 add them up together you'll get 7 8 7 5 17 8 7 5 all right and the last one is where i have to find to, to multiply the what we call that uh ptqt so the pt is here all right so this one with this one so you will get multiply this you will get 10 140 and the next one 15 multiplied by this you will get 14 250 and the last one 1.6 together with 750 so you'll get 1200 add them up together you'll get 25590 so all right so using these values you can actually find the i for 2019 which is given by summation of ptqt here summation so 25590 divide with summation of p not qt which is given by 17875 multiply this by 100 so you will get 143.16 all right so what can we say about this all right this is talking about the price so the price for 2017 has already increased by 10.65 percent as compared to 2015 and for 2019 the price already increased by 43.16 percent as compared to 2015 and the last question here is asking you to find the porch quantity index so we are talking about the quantity index qt over q naught but because it is porch so it should be pt and pt here right so for 2019 only so we'll have to find the q not pt and also qt pt so net that for 2019 only right so qt p sorry q not pt and also qt pt all right so from the table they determine which one is q not of course this one is q not which is the base here 2015 and quantity pt is the price for 2019 is here so this one is pt qt so multiply these together all right multiply them all right you'll have to multiply them all right so the value should be all right for the first one it's 70 780 so 112 Five zero and the last one is nine four four. So add them up together, you get twelve nine seven four. All right. So the next one is PT. Q, sorry, QT PT. So note that the QT is quantity for two thousand nineteen. QT and PT mean that you'll have to multiply these together. All right. So this one with this one. All right. So you'll get. 10, 140. Next, this one with this one, you will get 14, 250. And the last one, 1.6 together with 750. So you will get <coughs> 1,200. Add them up together, you get 25519. Okay. So that one is the summation of this one is summation of PTQT. And this one is summation of Q, not PT. So insert into the formula. All right. So I for 2019, of course. So it's given by 25590 divide with 12974. Multiply by 100. So you will get 197.24. Please take note that this is quantity index. So means that the quantity has already increased by 97.24% for 2019 as compared to 2015. That, that is the interpretation that can be made from this value. So let's look at the example 4.8. We're given with this, all right? So read the question. The question is asking you to find the weighted, all right? Average, so average should be uh, divided by the total quantity, all right? Relative price index, all right? Relative price index, all right? So relative price index, we are talking about the price index here. So it should be PT over P0 multiplied by W. All right, so our weightage is, of course, the QE, Q, the quantity. So if we should fill up this table first. Firstly, uh, given the quantity 200 for A and 500 for B and for C is 600. So you add them up together. So you will get by, all right? So you'll get 8 plus, so you get, all right? Mm -hmm. 
1,300. So the next one, relative price in the, uh, relative price, price relative, meaning that you have to find PT over P0. So PT over P0. So our PT now is actually 2019, all right? So of course, this one is P0, all right? So this one, we divide with this one, divide, we divide with this one, and this one, divide with this one. So you calculate using your calculator. So you will get first one, 1 1.2241. The next one is 1.0293 and the last one 1 1.4000 so you add uh, you don't have to add them together because it's not did that in the formula so the next one you'll have to multiply pt over pinot with w meaning that we'll have to multiply this together all right so for the first one we'll get 244.82 the next one 500 multiplied by one that one so you'll get 514.65 and the last one multiply this one so you get 840 so you add them up together so you'll get 159 9.47 okay so you can use this formula all right I'm, I'm sorry you, you can use these values to be inserted into the formula so this one is actually summation of pt over p naught multiplied by w so which is the this part here so 1599.47 you should divide with summation of w which is summation of w is given by here which is 1300 multiplied by 100 so you will get 123.04 so what can you say about this because it is price index so we can't say that the price for 2019 has already increased by 23.04 percent okay